Well, there we go, final life. This is a good enough angle. I'll start in a few minutes, everyone. There we are now. Just get them back at that. Is it live? Yeah, it's live now. So, why is it not loading up on my tablet? Let me close this down again. Let me just post this a few times. Yo, if you haven't already joined or Origami Discord, make sure to join. The link should be in the description. Where's the shameless plugin? The first time I've posted here. Oh yeah, it's come up, it's come up on my phone now. Um, yo, there we go. If it doesn't work on the tablet, I'll just need to use it on the phone. Yeah, it seems it's coming up now. And the volume's quite low. I'm just going to test, can you hear me? Oh yeah, so there's no delay, basically. Hey everyone, for those that are already here. So I've basically done a wee bit off camera. I was feeling like it this morning, but obviously I didn't plan to do this stream till later on. So I did a wee bit off camera. So I've got the back legs done. Two back legs, tail, got the body all glued. The body isn't curved yet, I'll do that the last possible thing I can do. Cover it and curve the back, spread it out evenly. Um, make the soft mountain folds here. Nice curve. Legs are done. Well, the front legs are quite thick with this paper, but that's the best that I can get. I can I can still add more shaping, and I'll do that the last minute as well. But main thing is they're all glued. So basically, the back part of the body's done. Um, let me see. Hey Cruz. Hey Bodo. Hey, Quitch. I missed the transmission. Was that is that the time you meant? In fact, let me start the now actually. Yeah. yeah, so I plan to do just one of the antlers today. I'm only going to stream for an hour. I'm not feeling feeling like doing a long stream. So I'll use my regular wood glue. Probably need quite a lot of that. And then some clear glue, which is so good this stuff. Should be enough. So I'm only going to plan to do. I'll go with the left antler this time. That's basically what it looks like. It was a nightmare to collapse this part. I'm not too sure if I've done it right. I should have pre creased it beforehand. I don't know why I never did. I just done all the major lines. But that should have. Yeah, it was, it was more difficult once you collapsed this part. And then trying to put in these creases are quite awkward. But I can fix that when I shape. So I can tuck these hidden loop, these edges that are stuck out inside. So I might start and do uh, the mouth first. I can glue this part. Get all the hidden, look at all the extra paper out of the way. I've already got the mouth pleats in place. I just need to put them in after I glue it. And I can hide these layers. These sinks were annoying as well. Right, so let me see. I'm going to do the mouth first. So I need to find a way to open up. I want to add glue inside these layers. 
So I'm going to inside. Oh yeah, that's the whole one right there. And then we'll add glue. Pull up. Let me see, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's quite tricky this part. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to lie flat or not. Yeah, looks looks fine if we do that. Right, let's go with that. Right, let me just peg these first. Maybe not. Stay in place. Well, I need to be careful when I glue this, so once I glue it, I need to pull this extra paper up. Whoever decides to join, he's just out of camera so you can't really see him. So I'm basically going to add glue in this, the, the shape of the head, but obviously inside the paper. So I'm going to use a pointy tool and just try and even out the glue as much as possible. And the hard thing about doing this is because the paper's on the inside, you've only really got one shot. To do it right, because you can't open up the paper and fix it. So I need to be really careful. I think the thing that'll be enough actually help enough. Hey, hey Matt, uh, what size paper did you use? This is about six to eight centimeters. Six to eight centimeters for actually a really good size model. I mean, it will really fit in your hand, and then when this curves, it will be really big as well. Right, so I need to put it there we go, that's that. Because the way this collapsed, it should lie flat, but there is some extra paper. So from this angle, it's actually not that bad. But when you see this angle, it's I've glued it, I've pulled the extra extra paper down, so we've got a smooth look. And then this is held in place, and then when this is held in place, it'll be easier to make the mouth. So let's do the same on this side. What conventions will you go to next year? Uh, hopefully, the same one again, in New York, if it is held in there. You know, I really can't wait to go this year. But if I do plan to go to one next year, it'll probably be that one. I know there's a lion one in France, I think, but it's a wee bit far away. And plus, try to do that in New York. If I had to choose, I'd probably, I'd probably go with the New York one. Hey, Lolly. Well, the size I'm using is 6 to 8 centimetres. About that, approximately. Approximately 6 to 8. Above 6 anyway. And then the same again, pull. I can't, I can't really fix this. The, the sinks on this part, I don't think I've done right. I mean, it still looks good. I can still hide the extra paper if I need to. If it comes to it. I'm looking rid of that, I don't need that. So the heads. Glue this is the best I can do. I mean, I'm really happy with that. So now it should be easier. Let me see if I can. Don't need to glue that. Yeah, let me just glue inside here. What's dragon, Wally? Which one were you making? Probably even much. So 
So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just adding glue in between all the layers but I'm not going to shape it just yet and the reason is once I have more of this model in place I will then shape it because each of these layers will be glued but they will be flat and the glue will have dried a lot so I can then add the the shaping at the very end and the holding place so I don't need to do it beforehand like right now and then by the time I do all this this can be out of place so these are like the be minor touches and obviously keep these layers separated so you can add some depth for cut look at one side with that Right, so I've done that side. Again, every time you glue, do the same on the other side. And it keeps everything symmetrical. Right, so that's good. That's that glued. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to glue it in there this yet. I'm not too sure how that's supposed to look. I don't think that gets any of it anyway. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but we're going to start off with these antlers. So basically just glue it in between every single layer. Is that single or double tissue? Oh, it's Wenzel rice paper I used. The, the reason I used it is it's a thicker paper and it comes in large squares, so it seems like a good choice for this model. So I don't have any. Like when you make double tissue, you've got, or large double tissue, you've got the overlaps that you can see. So I use this so I don't get any. And I was able to colour it nicely as well. This colour. So I'm hoping to get all this done in the stream. This antler. Only the left one. Not all not, not the other one. This is the part that takes the longest. You just need to go through layer by layer. And the parts that I miss down here, I can use the, the clear glue to fix. So I don't get left with the glue marks. I have big crappy paper, which I will use, or oh, nice. You know, I've heard a lot about that paper, crappy, though I'm, I'm not sure where to buy it. I, th I think that's the paper Kota uses as well, for his models, I'm sure he's mentioned that before. Origami, they sell it in the origami shop. Nice. It's actually been a while since I checked there. How is the paper? It is 91cm by 64 That's a really good size. How thick is it? Or do you know the thickness?
it's much better than normal tissue, about 15 GSM. That's actually a really good thickness as well, and size. You get, you get the best of both, great size and really thin as well. So I'll definitely look into getting some of that. And that's what I forgot to set up the background music. No, it's too late now. I've got a really good playlist set up. Like, music that I can use for this. That I'm allowed to use, so... That will definitely be played in the next one. That's for sure. I was quite rushed when I started this, because I've been out all day. And I'm just back, like, half an hour ago. This is definitely going to take much longer than I thought. So it's just a matter of gluing each layer individually. And then when I do both sides, this will get considerably thinner. And it will allow for it to be easier shaped. The only problem with the crappy paper is, from the origami shop, is the limited colours that only sell variations of brown. Ah, really? I mean, as, as long as it's nice browns, then I'm sure that's fine, but only having the same amount of colours isn't that great. Maybe they've only made the paper, or like released it, and they've not got a lot of colours yet. Or they're just, maybe it only comes in that colour. I'm not sure. So we're nearly done this side. And already it's gotten a lot thinner. So it'll be much easier to shape and give it curves.
maybe if you got the lightest colour, you could put some sort of dye into the MC to colour. Yeah, that could work. Or even paint. I've done that a few times before. But paint adds thickness, so it depends if you want to add that. But it does add really, really nice colour. Oh no, too much. Are you using special glue? No, it's regular wood glue I, u I use to shape. I mean, that's the glue that I've used since day one, since I started shaping. And it's worked ever since, so that's what I've always used. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stream maybe the next one earlier, much earlier, just to see how that does. Like seven hours earlier from this one. Because that was when I was feeling to do this. Obviously I planned this to do I plan to do this later on. At this time. If that makes sense, but I'm gonna try it much earlier just to see how it does. It's hard to cater for everyone. We'll try and find a time that suits everyone. Making sure I've not glued any of the wee spikes together. Yeah, I've glued inside, so that's fine. So I'm going to separate them now. I'm definitely going to try and get this finished for the convention as well. I've done a, f I've done a few extra Kamiya models just because he's there. I thought why not? A nice touch. Will, would Elmer's glue work? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All, all wood glue would work, any white glue would work. The reason I use white glue is it's, I mean, you can't see it as much as other colours of glue, if that makes sense. Like it dries clearer, so it's easier to, to apply a lot and not see it. But I'm guessing any glue would work. And it depends how thick it is. I've tried glues bef uh, glue before that's really thick and doesn't work, so, but this has got a nice consistency and it spreads evenly and it's easier to apply so as long as it's I would recommend as long as it's not thick then you're good to go Yo, Hey boys, thanks for joining yeah, I'm just doing a wee quick stream I'm hope, hoping to get this antler done on stream as well uh, what's the most challenging origami you've made so far? Also, how long have you been making origami? Probably, again, probably the answer is the region. Just because it takes so long to make. Uh, it's not difficult. People think region is so difficult, but it's actually not. It just takes, it's very time consuming for those that have already made it. You, you know what I'm talking about. It just takes forever. And the folding's all box pleat, so it's nothing too tricky or complex. But yeah, probably the region, just in general, for folding it and the time it takes. So I'm, go I'm going to be careful here. Try and add the glue here. So, let me see. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't need to worry too much about it here, as long as I can hide it, then I'm good. I mean, if I'd pre-creased this part earlier, that would have been so much neater. But the thing with shaping is you've you've got so much options and how you want to shape. So even if you collapse bits that are not good, you can hide them easily. I mean that sticks out there, so I need to use two. Well, let me try this, see if this works. And then open this up. I mean when I push it in the side it comes out of that side, so I'm going to keep it loose on the left, try and push in on the right. There. Yeah, I'll work on that actually in a shape. Yeah, it's not a major problem, that. Yeah, let's get the last of this glued. Again, I do apologise for those that are watching, uh, there's no background music. I do have a playlist set up, I just completely forgot about it. So it makes it better than me. Than hear me breathe every five settings. Yeah, letting stuff dry can take a while to then transition to shape other stuff exactly. That's what that's one of the good things about like when you shape uh, don't. For me, it's all about taking your time. Always, if you can, like do one part a day. That's what I do. So, two legs one day, the front two legs the next the body, the neck, so that's three days in total that I spent on this back bit. It could be better, the, the front, but the paper's a bit, th there's a, the paper is quite thick on the back, on the front, the back legs are fine. Front legs are a wee bit thick, but I'm still work rough. But that way when you take your time, you can maximise how you're going to shape each part, so it looks its best. Yo, thanks for joining, Ben. How's it going? Um, how did your exam go, if it was today? I'm sure it was today. Hopefully it went good. Hey Alexander, uh, what paper are you using? I'm using Wenzel paper. 68 centimetres, approximately. Hey Finn, I finally got your name right first. I didn't say Finn, like always. <laughs> Can't believe I always, always said that. I've got exams too, but I will have 11 weeks of free to make origami afterwards. Nice. Main thing is you study for those exams, and then you fold. Study, fold. That's how it goes. You work hard, and then you fold harder. Fine. Alright, so that's not fine. Do you want me to call you Simon? I'll do Simon then. What is the best paper to fold complex origami? It depends what you're folding. I mean, if I was doing a complex insect, single tissue, if I'm doing a dragon, maybe double, just depends. There's lots of paper 
types out there, so it's just a matter of finding one that you like, that you think you could use. So I think that's the best I'll get. Open batteries along the tab, but that's fine. Yeah, so the, the head, ear, ear comes up, tucks in, should be fine. There, I need to fix these bits. So I'm going to try and get this one done on stream before I finish. And where can I get one of those tools you apply the glue with? Um, I got mine from a cake shop or cake decorating or what's it called? Kitchen appliance store. But they're cake decorating tools, so just Google or yeah, on Amazon or eBay or wherever. Or even check at a local store. But any cake decorating tool. Or any tool that will have like a wee pointy tip. Like this will work. I used to use brushes, but this is much easier to use. And it's much more precise. I don't get glue marks everywhere. Well, I still do, but drastically reduced the amount that I would normally get. And then looks much better. Are you going to vlog the, or the house of origami? Damn right I'm going to. Me and Boyce, side by side, vlog, vlogging together. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I really can't wait. Yeah, I'm also going to go uh, try and go live there as well. I was looking into getting another SIM card I was in today, asking about it, but Best deal is a 15 gig that that lasts for a month in America. So that, that should be plenty for a week to use. And that's enough on that suit. Right, this side, so it should be much quicker. I'll touch up. Any wee bits I missed off camera, so I don't keep everyone waiting. Oh, and also good news, uh, the Ryujin video is basically finished. I was out getting the last part I needed earlier on, basically like two hours ago. I got that final bit done. So once I finish this, I'll edit the stream once I go back on and I'll finish off that video. Hopefully you'll see a live stream on Instagram like an hour from now where I start to render off. Hopefully. So I really can't wait. I hope you guys like it as well. I put, put so much time in it. Do you know what I'm folding from my story? Uh, I've not checked it right now, Ben. Let me check. But yeah, I'll check after this. I mean, it's already, it's already taken half an hour just to do, just to glue the other side. Maybe I should have, maybe, maybe I should have done that side first. Off camera, so basically by now, I'd be shaping it. So you can see it's getting much thinner already compared to this side. And I've not glued up I've not glued all the layers just yet. So this is basically the last bit I need to do to finish us. Shape this antler, do the same on the other. Maybe add finishing touches to the body, round it off. 
and then we're good to go. And that's that basically done. I'll be taking this to the convention, I'm sure someone posted that at the second ago. Oh yeah boys, yeah that's, can't wait to check it out at the convention, yep that will definitely be here. Hey Messi, hey Measy, or or a Measy, hopefully I pronounced your name right. Thanks for joining, we're just gluing the inside of the antler. I've just glued the other side, so it's just this inside to do. And then just shape it. And then that's one done, one or two. Uh, not yet, Simon. I've not been to anyone yet. So this is the first one I'll be going to. In a way I'm pretty nervous as well, just from how it all works. I need to pick the classes as well. I need to do that tomorrow. Do that tomorrow morning. All the classes have been posted, so I need to find the ones that I want to take and then pick them. Yeah, it's, it's going to be one great experience, that's for sure. I really missed a few already. And aim is to not miss any. I mean, if, if I was trying to use a brush right now, it would be an absolute mess. Even if I didn't have a lot of glue on the brush, trying to get a brush in here without getting glue everywhere would be tricky. Possible, but make your life easier and use something like this. Takes a bit longer, but you're more precise. And more precise means better looking in the end. Hey, Origami ST, thanks for joining. We're just shaping up this first antler. Hopefully I'll get this done on stream. Yeah, I'll definitely do this one. I'll put it in rough position and then when I'm off, when I finish, I'll finish it up so it dries the way I want it. Must have been here. I mean, I'll leave the top bits till the end, like where I can add lots of clear glue, and then I'll be easier to shape. Is there a model that you have tried to fold a lot but never been able to? Um, not that I can think of at the moment, but the uh, Lion's Tarantula, years ago, I did that model so many times. It's the only model I know how to fold from memory, but yeah, probably that one back then. But most most models now are doing first attempt, but because I practice beforehand and just I've got experience, so that helps a lot. I don't really need to test fold too much. But yeah, probably Lang's Tarantula.
so we're almost included in these final layers. Probably another 10 15 minutes doing this. Can't wait for my elephant hide to arrive. Got your CPs printed out and ready. Oh, nice pen. So when you, when you um, crease with the tool, don't apply a lot of practice on like a test sheet. You just want to apply enough pressure so it leaves a faint crease that you that you can see enough that when you take off the paper, you're able to see the crease and then make it. Because you you don't want to crease a lot of creases too lightly and then when you peel it off you realise you can't see any of the lines so you're, you're missing half the creases I've done that a few times so that's how I learned to find the right balance of how much pressure to apply but it's a bright and moderate fold and don't make, uh, don't make the mistake I did by making the stars on the wrong side that was a fail on my half How did they make the stars on the wrong side? Well, I creased it correctly, but I collapsed. I collapsed on the wrong side, so I collapsed with the stars on the the right. Basically, I collapsed on the white side when I was supposed to collapse on the color side. I never realized till I collapsed it that I'm like, drat. The stars are on the wrong side. And then when I posted the pictures, I flipped the images just to just to see what it like what it looked like correctly, even though it was wrong. But yeah, I collapsed on the wrong side. Not realising until it's too late. Have you tried The God of Thunder by Hideo Takashime? Um, I've got it pre-creased upstairs, but I've not actually collapsed it yet. I need to get around to doing that. It does look like a fun model to fold. That's one thing I do a lot. When I see models I want to make, if I've not already got the paper for it, I'll make it and then I'll Basically collapse the model and then leave it so it's ready to shape whenever I can. If I don't have a lot of time to fold the model, I've got one to shape. So that's just how I do things. So a few more layers to do and then I'll touch up with the clear glue. Am I getting Satoshi to sign you over Eugene? Oh, I have no idea yet. <laughs> I've still to figure out how many models I can take. But yeah, I'm definitely hoping to bring it. And then show everyone. But if I, yeah, if he does sign it, then that, that, that would be neat. I'm not even sure if he speaks English, if anyone knows. I have no idea if he speaks English or not. I'm sure he must. But it would be an honour for him to sign it. So I'm not sure where you would, where I'd want him to sign it. Like put it in a place that's visible or that hidden, like under the belly. Like an SK. Yeah, I've seen that one. Or I can't. Or did he? He spoke English. Oh, that's alright. 
Well, I'm pretty sure be, his English will be much better than then, because that was like years and years ago she uploaded that video. Or even on the uh, under the tail. Yeah, there's there's not much space under the tail, but you could put like a net. You could put like an SK somewhere near it. I mean, I wouldn't mind having it there. Though I'm not too sure if I wanted it to be visible. I mean, even though it's a signature by him, people that don't know it would probably think, well, why is there like an SK or black writing or writing on it? I mean, they wouldn't know. So yeah, I'd probably put it in a place where you couldn't see it. I mean, it's almost taken me 50 minutes just to do this. I wasn't expecting it to be this long. F forty would work. The Assault Dragon, thanks for joining if you're if you've already been watching or not, but for forty would oh, let me see. Well that's GSM. Uh yeah that thickness would be fine. This is probably around the same thickness as well. Uh but I'm using six to eight and that's the size it gives me. Like if I hold it out in my hand, that's a good size. It's a really good size, so forty would be a bit smaller. But yeah, I'd probably say anything about forty up upwards. Would would work, but it just depends if you want a really big model or a smaller one. Hey, I'm not too sure on the GSM, but it's. Probably um, a bit thicker than double tissue. If 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 you know the thickness of that, then it's a bit thicker than that. That's how I, I would say. I mean, if if GSM doubles every time you like add tissue, like add a layer, like just say single tissue is. 17 GSM, and then double that would be 34. This is probably around 40. I would say maybe 35, 40. No, it's, it's thicker than double, so I'm closer to 40, I would say. Though I'm not sure how they calculate it. I don't exactly have a tool to measure. Well, with 40 centimeters, um, the neck is going to be really nice. Because when I glue all this, I'll curve it, I'll curve it evenly on both sides and then when I shape the main, I'll cover it so it's basically like, if you're looking at it this way, it's like a sphere. So it will actually add a nice thickness. So with this paper it's going to look pretty good, I would say, with this, this size as well. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Because in real life, the necks aren't super thin. We want them to have a bit of character to them, a bit of thickness, I think. So it makes up with the rest of the model. There's a few more wee bits here. Tool. Use a clean tool for the clear glue. Well, messed up in here. Yeah, we'll go back to this. 
when will your Etsy shop open? Uh, when I come back from New York, I'm going to plan it that. Basically just making all the paper they're now for it. And I don't want to feel rushed trying to open it before I go. So once I go, now once I come back, then I've got all the time to do that. I don't need to rush to get everything done. But yeah, once I come back from New York. I can't remember the exact date. So right now I'm basically adding clear glue just to fix the to touch up any spots I've missed. Yeah, what will you call it? I've got a name for it but I'm not going to tell you it right now. I want you to wait and see because it's going to be direct to what I'm what I mean, if that makes sense. You'll know exactly what it is and what it relates to when you see it. So I don't want to, s because I've not finalised the shop, the name could be taken by the time I actually do that. So I'll need to do that soon before someone takes it, but I doubt they will. So that's why I can't tell you right now in case someone actually takes it. But I was going to plan to call it uh, Fearless Origami, but I found something more certain. So I'm going to need to add a lot of this to soften up the paper, and that will allow me to add these curves much better. Yeah, I won't go too much up here. I'll leave I'll, I'll leave all the wee spikes to last when I'm off camera. Still a few bits to do in here. I'm not sure you're very good. I mean, trying to use a brush on this would be a nightmare. I would not recommend that. I'll get these bats last because there's loads of those. This is where you just want to take your time and make it perfect. Why rush it? You've got all the time in the world, so there's no need to rush. Thanks, Abby, and thanks for joining if you're, you weren't already watching. Just about finished up gluing this first antler. So you see the difference already, the thinness of it, compared to what it was like beforehand. So you take your time, you glue all, all these layers, one by one, nice and neatly, and then it allows you to be really thin. And then easier to do what I'll show you next. Now I want to finish up a few wee bits here. Or great as a bowl spawn. Should be enough. So I'm just trying to find 
یعنی بس بست just unfold and give the whole thing a coat of glue and then collapse uh, you could Simon but if you did that you would need to collapse it perfectly because if you collapse it wrong or uh, do the wrong layers accidentally then they're stuck together and then you probably can't undo it but yeah yeah you're right it only work on easy collapses but no I, I wouldn't recommend this it would work but if you're Two things, if you're really experienced and you were confident that it would work, then you could do it. But I, I, would, I would never recommend that. diagrams for this model somewhere else. Uh, there's a a photo diagram on script though it's not the best it, it doesn't show you how to pre-crease it's just a rough collapse that's what I use to help collapse and obviously my friend sent me the CPU as well so I used that as well and finally managed it hey Gutiena I've Afternoon. No, <laughs> afternoon. I'm um, sorry to pronounce your name wrong, but thanks for dropping by to say hi. Yeah, I'll do this and then I'll flip over. Because I'll need to do the rest of this off camera. I need to really take my time. So any bits I missed here. I think I've done the same much better than the first one. Did you see my mask yesterday? I don't think I have seen it. I'll check out after this. Simon, I'll do it after this. Right, I'll make this the last bit and then I'll start to cover it just so there's more it's more fun to watch then I can unfold it and then refix everything up and then I stop wrong one and for those that are watching um, for the new people I've just got the last bit of footage for the Region 3.5 official video so I'm going to finish up tonight after I do this and then it should be uploaded I'm going to aim to upload it the day before I leave for the New York convention so basically I'll be uploaded in like just under two weeks like ten days so I'm really excited to show everyone what I've been working on for so long You get a co oh yeah, oh, that, yeah, I remember that one, yeah. I got a comment saying it looks like Trump. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually remember seeing that. Maybe she caught uh, Donald Trump's mask or something like that. That'd be funny. How did I miss this? Mm. 
Yeah, I need to touch those up. Right, I'm going to stop going around. That should be enough. I'll touch up when I stop streaming. So basically, this is it now, beforehand. You can see the difference. Super thin, compared to this one. And it's all near enough stuck together, which is what we want. So, let's try to see. I'm going to start off by... Army. Um, curving this middle bit. Now basically the, so just say, I'm going to use my right hand as an example because it's easier. This is the, the antler. It's basically straight there now. I want to curve it so it's like that. Let me see. There we go. Oh, too far up. Like that. So it comes up, out at an arc. Then at each point I can curve the spikes. So something like trying to, like that. It'll be easier once it's all shaped to show it exactly. So I'm just going to start off by, as best as possible, thinning down the centre bit. And then this is the spikes up here, so this is where it stops. Hey Takumi, thanks for joining. We've just glued the first part, the, the first antler. I'm just going to start covering it. And then let me just think for a second how I'm going to fold this. How many spikes are up here? One. There's the two. I think it's, th uh, it's three in the first one. I think it's three in the second one as well. But I'm not sure. One. Two. Three. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to actually glue this part as well. Yeah, before I actually fold it in half, I'm going to, um, let me see, separate the spikes. That's what I need to do. Yeah, so that's basically what this looks like. I'll touch it up a lot more when I'm off camera. And then... Obviously, when you glue it perfectly, all these layers should stick together, but they're not. Because I missed some. And obviously with thinner paper it would help a lot more. It's definitely going to be tricky to put all this in place. Yeah, there's still a bit of mist gluing in there. That's much better. You can't really go any further than this because it's not fully properly glued. So I'm going to stop in a few minutes so I can touch this up completely.
No, they're not that tricky to clap spin. That's just straightforward. You basically fold one of the other points over and then collapse it as one. So you're collapsing two points as one, so you end up with five. If that makes sense. There's six stars, six points in each star. So you need to fold one over the other to get five. Yeah, that's best, as best I can get it the now. So, I'm going to stop the stream the now and then touch us all up. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a wee quick stream, but I don't have a lot of time at the moment. So, I need to finish this off camera. Right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next stream. And I'll make sure this looks really good as well.